All right, it's uh, 520. Uh, I just put one down. I'm going to go uh, check them out. I think this is the deer our friend Mike saw last night. All right, we're up here this morning. This is opening day Michigan rifle season. This is the Black River Ranch. We're walking over to lunch, me and Mr. Mike Stark. How you doing, Mike? Unsuccessful morning for us. Uh, we'll see what happens. I saw three does, and we're going to do the afternoon hunt. And we're going to uh, try to capitalize on some, on some bucks, some rotten bucks. All right, we're stopping by the buck pole here on the way to lunch. Oh, man. Look at this one. These are all eight pointers. We got a couple big ones up here. Look at this guy. Wow. Whoa. It's a ten pointer. <laughs> Some nice Michigan bucks here. Uh, here at the Black River Ranch, they uh, have awesome quality deer management, and one of the ways they uh, achieve that is just by enforcing a eight point minimum and uh, they get a lot of really good deer up here. They take care of them and feed them over the winter, um, but it's not, a, uh, it's not a high fence operation. There's no fences on the property. It's about 10,000 acres, and it butts up against the Pigeon River National Forest. Um, and there's also an elk herd uh, that is in this area, and, and they roam freely on state land back and forth, um, also across this, this huge piece of private land. It's a, it's a private hunt club. I think there's 20 or 25 members. They have bears up here, and turkeys, and just and huge deer. Um, we saw a lot of bucks, and it's just it's a beautiful piece of property. It's all different kinds of trees. There's a lot of cedar swamps. There's big fields. There's huge hills. There's uh, about three lakes, I think, on the property. It was a great hunt. All right, it's opening day. Uh, it's an afternoon hunt here at Black River Ranch, and uh, we're gonna go try to get a buck. It's the second day of our Black River Ranch Michigan rifle uh, deer hunt. I'm sitting in a box blind up here uh, in some oak trees. I've been here sitting here for six and a half hours. I kind of want to stretch my legs and I might go for a little walk, but I got to get back here because this is going to be a good spot, I think, tonight. Oh my God, that was absolutely insane. I came in here this morning. I'm on top of this hill and um, a couple does came in. They hung out for like an hour. Then they left, and then another doe came in really nervous and sketchy. She stayed here for like an hour and a half, and I, and I kept thinking a buck was following her. She kept looking behind her. She was really, really nervous. Then she left. Then I took a short walk, got back here. There was already a deer down there. They left, and I got back up in the blind. Three does came down, hanging out there for a while. Buck came in out of the swamp down there. He's an eight-pointer. He was standing down there. I got him with a good shot. So I'm gonna go down there and uh, go down there and get him. We got a couple nice bucks here. Now they were running at 300 yards and you dropped them? Yeah, exactly. Dead in the spot. Exactly. <laughs> I think they were locked horns. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a great trip out here and uh, we did real good. We got about 15 bucks out of this camp uh, this weekend. So, how many got so far? 16, I think. There's a couple up there. Um, all right, Rick, jump up there on that ladder. We're going to put both those. 